Hi loves, today I'm here with my September favorites. It is pretty late at night and I'm just trying to film this video so that I can get it up for you guys in time. I'm going to jump right in and I'm first off starting off with the L'Oreal Infallible Advanced Never Fail Makeup. It's an 18 hour wear foundation. I've been testing this foundation out so that I can give you guys a full review and I believe I will have that up sometime this week. I already filmed me applying it and like a before and after. I just have to film the intro and tell you telling you guys all about the foundation. I will give you more info in the review, but I want to tell you that I am giving this a thumbs up. I like it, but there are a couple downfalls to it, but just stay tuned and watch out for that video in the next week or so, and I will tell you guys more about it. Moving to lips, I have two lip glosses and a lip liner. I picked this up at IMATS New York. It Miss Adoro had a booth, and this is her rose gold long lasting. It's a gel lip liner. I've been mixing it with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I freaking love this. It's like a soft matte, just like it says. It doesn't go completely, completely matte, like a hard, drier lips matte. It is in the color Milan. This is like the perfect combo for fall. I've been wearing this every single day. I normally to work, I'll put on like a gloss, a tint, or just something very sheer, but nothing too bold and out there because then they kind of look at me funny. But this together, I don't care. It's just beautiful. I Of course, I'll be swatching them so you guys can see. But this is such a beautiful fall color, and I feel like this goes on with anybody with light skin or if you have like a deeper, you know, skin tone. This is perfect for you. I, I really love this combo. This here is the best red in the whole wide world. This is the Matte LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the color Frisky. I found this and you guys, I can't explain how gorgeous it is. It's not only like the perfect red, but the fact that it's matte and you don't have to worry about having it in your teeth because you know anytime you're wearing like a gloss, you're like checking for, you know, your teeth being stained of this super dark color and it like, looking all crazy you don't have to worry about it and this thing is long lasting i believe they're like 4.99 i picked this up at a beauty store by my job and oh my god i love red like red is my go-to when i want to just like scream like bam like glam and just look very like classy with like a sleek ponytail and just some red lips and simple eyes like this here is going to be like my go-to from now on i don't think i mentioned this but i have been giving it a lot of love ever since it was sent to me it's the Too faced candlelight glow it's the duo one the one that has like the pink and then the yellow tone one i also use this in my strobing video you guys probably have seen me use this in tons of videos but this is such a beautiful highlighter you can use one side or you can mix them both it's just perfect and it doesn't have fallout it doesn't look cakey you can put this on your eyes just grab like a little a uh, packing brush and just pack it onto your lids and you're ready to go. This is by far probably in my top five highlighters and speaking of highlighters, can you guys see that highlight? I don't know who it's by, but I'm just saying <laughs> that's just a little hint wink there. Um very excited, but again again, look at that highlight. Just saying ladies, I can't mention whose highlighter that is yet. <laughs> I'm being so stupid right now. I wasn't for sure that I wanted to mention this because it's discontinued and the way I got it is actually pretty funny. This is a Chanel blush in the color Jersey. I wanted this so I screenshot it. Anytime I see something like on Insta haul or online or somebody posted and I wanna like see it, I screenshot it and then I show it to them at the counter. So when I went down to the Chanel and I was like, I want this, she's like, oh honey, it's discontinued. We don't have it anymore and I was like, so then she goes to her samples and she opens her drawer and she had a brand new sample That's why it's in like this little ghetto fabulous sample thing So if it's online or on eBay or somewhere, I would tell you guys pick it up It's such a beautiful color a lot of the Chanel blushes. I almost said brush have a little specks of glitter I do not like glitter. It's very rare that I'll pick up a uh, blush I like shimmer or a sheen, you know, like a little yellow sheen to it, but I do not like, not like glitter. And this has a little bit, a little, little, little bit of gold glitter. I can't believe I'm saying that. And I like it. And that's actually what I've been using on my cheeks. It's on my cheeks with, um, in between the sheets with ColourPop. And I am obsessed with that color. I know I mentioned that in my favorites. But if you guys see it or it comes back for whatever reason, Jersey by Chanel. And it smells like roses. I have one eye product and I want to mention it because 
A lot of people like the Inglot Black Liner, but for me, I felt like it was too slippery and you had to be careful and it dries really fast and I don't know. It's, it's a really good product, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. I felt more comfortable with this and this was probably like the first black line, gel liner I ever bought. It's the Maybelline Eye Studio one and of course it's in black. Oh, blackest black. I don't know if there's just like black, but this is blackest black. So this one here I've been using, as you guys can see, I have a wing liner. I've been practicing my wing liner. I've been wearing a wing liner. I even wore it to work and I'm just trying to get a little better at it so that I can do more wing liner looks. Hopefully it's like picking up. I'm sure it's not perfect, but practice does make perfect. Um, this is everywhere. I know that you guys have seen it. So many people have mentioned it. I think it's like seven or eight dollars. It's super affordable, super creamy. It's very workable to where it doesn't like dry right away on you or it doesn't get flaky. It it's like a perfect set too. It doesn't um what is it? I would say it's kind of like a very light um gloss sheen to it but it's not like a complete matte or like very very shiny I don't know how to describe it but you guys know what I mean so it's like perfect and I really I really love it I love the formula of it it's very very good um next I have two palettes I have been using the Velvet 59 Exotic Lotus Palette a lot. I even used it for a look but the colors that I have been reaching for like a lot a lot a lot are tiger lily and then smoked tea these do pop out and i really oh my god you guys the palette alone look at it look how beautiful the palette is paris did an amazing job with her palette so i've been like just grabbing this here and going like a rainbow into my eye and that's it like for work every single day it's like a mauvey like once you put it on it's like a light mauvey smoked almost light brown color i love it and then there's this one here you guys it's, it's just Oh, it's just gorgeous. I would say it's like a rose copper color. I always link all the products that I mentioned down below and of course I'll uh, link her website down. I have a love-hate relationship with the Anastasia contour palette. The only color that I ever use is the color banana which is to set my concealer and I had actually set it aside because I've been using my Laura Mercier you know to set my concealer. I don't always set my concealer because my concealer doesn't crease so I really don't reach for it as much but I was like you know what let me go back and start loving this baby here then I spotted this color here and I put it next to my the balm um Bahama Mama and I was like oh my god it's very similar to it and that's the only bronzer that I will use to contour so I started using this and oh my damn I am obsessed with it so now I actually have been giving the palette some love because I don't use these or these and this is actually like a highlighter and I don't use it so the only one I was using is the banana one so now I'm actually using these two in the palette right here so if you guys just want to pick this shade up let me see if I can get it out of there to tell you guys what it's called if you guys want to, oh, okay, it's Fawn. So if you guys don't want to buy the Bahama Mama by the Bomb, and you guys just see these because they do sell these little single pans at Ulta, I believe. This is Fawn. I definitely recommend it. I love it. And that's what I've been using to contour. I just feel like this shade is too dark, and then this one's too light. Next, I have this Sephora brush. I totally, totally had forgot I had it. This is the Pro Air Brush number 55. This is pretty pricey. I think it's like $35. I bought this when I bought the um, spray can, like not the Dior one, but the Sephora brand one. I bought that and she told me that the best brush to use was this one to apply it. This brush is freaking amazing. It's pricey. I normally do not pay that much for brushes. The most I pay are I have to think about that for a second because I do my Chanel brushes, but I have not bought a Chanel brush in a very long time. So, um, and actually it's around the same price. I think my Chanel brush was like $40 and this one was $35. I don't like to pay too much, but this one is totally worth it. This is more for either powder or a light liquid. I would not suggest using this for a mousse because it does, the bristles are so soft or even for like an airbrush can thingy because the mousse is too thick and it won't blend it on right. But this is beautiful. I love it. Save up. And if you're looking for something like this, I do recommend it even though it's a little pricey. But sometimes you have to invest in great tools. 
Um, next, and I know I've mentioned this or hauled it or something, and if I did mention my favorites, I have to mention it again, and it's not sponsored, I promise you guys. They've only sent me one can, and that was a long time ago, and this is actually my third can. I love this freaking self-tanner. It's the Coco Brown by Marissa Carter, and this is the, the dark shade because the other one's a little too light for me. This is the one-hour tan. I do sleep in this, on this, in it. I had to think about that for a second. I'm actually going to self-tan. I already exfoliated and shaved. I'm just going to go rinse off and put this all over my body. You guys, I swear, this is like the best self-tanner in the world. I get about 8 to 10 tans out of each can. It's only $13. Um, I have one more new one, but the minute that this one starts running low, I'm going to stock up. I hope they never discontinue it because it is freaking bomb it doesn't streak it doesn't look orangey like when you're applying it and i have to do a video just to show you guys how freaking tanned if you guys saw my my tutorial where i featured the lotus palette like my face looks like a lot lighter than my body that's because i had just self tan and it was sitting on my body so i look like a freaking oompa loompa probably because i'm like all white up here and then i had the self tan around but then once you wash it off it you know washes off like half of that color but you guys i promise you if you are my skin tone color a little darker you cannot go wrong with this i just i can't rave enough about how much i love the self tanner even my husband loves it because he has to apply it on my back and it's just bomb. And lastly, I want to mention this Pure Castle Soap. I picked up an itty bitty one because I wanted to try it out. I picked this up at Fresh and Easy. I think they have them at Target, right? But I've been using this to wash my beauty blender because I ran out of the little beauty blender wash. Because um, when I got a beauty blender, I got a little free sample of it. But I love using this. It gets all the nasty dirt out of it. I only use it for my beauty blender. For my brushes, I've been using Sote. If you are not Hispanic, you have no idea what sote is, but sote is like a big bar that you use to wash your clothes in Mexico. And <laughs> Beauty Bird actually reminded me that I had bought sote a long time ago for my brushes. And then I'm like, oh, that's right, because she did have how she cleans her brushes. She did a video on it, and it reminded me that I had a sote bar. It's a pink bar. I'll try to find a picture and insert it here. You guys can pick it up at like Walmart, Target. It's like a dollar or two and you just run your brushes and it cleans those brushes freaking bomb. But this um, Pure Castle, I just put a couple drops around and then I just wash the beauty blender. It does have a very strong smell to it, but I can live with it. It's no biggie. So that's it. You know, I got to go to bed. I'm not even going to sit here and chit chat because this video is already long as it is. But I do want to... Um, tell you guys that we have some progress going with my um, highlighter and I am so freaking excited. I'm hoping to have it here soon. So everybody keep your fingers crossed that we have my highlighter or highlighters coming out fairly soon. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, Instagram, Snapchat at the one and only Maria and I'll see you guys later. Bye.